channel Tita Lavinia and Gazel are going to win because I can tell you why as soon as this controversy is stirred up people are going to go to Gazel's channel and say oh well he sucks or he's good guess what he's got all of that engagement same thing is going to happen to Tita Lavinia is that oh well she's this and she's that and so people are going to have an opinion both of them are going to get views both of them are going to get the engagement and, and, and so both of them are going to get paid so who started it it almost doesn't even matter while doing some research online, I received a couple of DMs. And when I checked those DMs, there were some screenshots in there. And I was like, I don't, what is this? Is this for me? And so as I began to read, it was really about two vloggers that were beefing against each other. And it seems like this little sideshow is taken away from this historic moment for Chelsea Manalo. I don't think it's a big issue yet. I'm not sure why, you know, these couple of people want me to do a reaction video, but you know, my initial reaction was, uh, this is just two vloggers beefing with each other. I don't give a damn. It doesn't even concern me. They're not bothering me. Why should I even care um, about what they're, they're saying about each other? And as always, there's always some kind of drama going on. That's one of the things I have found in pageantry is that there's always just these little sideshows going on. And, and sometimes that energy takes away from what's going on. But in this case, I, I don't think it has, and I hope it doesn't. And because what's going on in the Philippines right now is historic. When you, when I have people over here commenting on my videos about something that happens in the Philippines and they really don't even watch my channel, it is amazing. And so rather than really dwell on this little sideshow, I really want to dwell on this historic moment of, of Chelsea Manalo being the first um, black Filipino queen uh, for Miss Universe Philippines 2024. So because they want me to do a reaction video, I will go ahead and give my side opinion. I've already given you my initial reaction that it doesn't concern me. I don't really give a damn. But if you want me to go a little bit in depth, here's what I'm gonna say. I need to make a disclaimer first. This uh, last year, I did a collab with Gaisel on his channel. And so he and his uh, fans were, were very cordial. They were very funny, they were very engaging. My brother was with me and so some of the comments he uh, translated for me, Gazel commented uh, about me and, and we just had a great time on his, uh, on his podcast. And I really, I really enjoyed doing it. It was my first time doing a podcast with a, you know, with a Filipino. And I, I really did enjoy it. I don't know anything about, I think it's called Titas of Pageantry and Tita Lavinia. I don't know anything about who that person is. All I know is there is a huge following and um, everybody's, you know, everybody's making their money. So um, I've watched some of her stuff, very, very engaging and, and, and I enjoyed it. And so, you know, I don't know the history behind it. One of the things that I've learned about Filipinos is there is there is nuance. There is nuance. And as an American, I don't always know that nuance. So I want to make sure that I'm very, very clear with what I'm about to say. This is my opinion and my opinion only. So I've given you my disclaimer. So that way you will you know, it's out there that I, I did his podcast. Now, here's what I think about what I've heard. Something about a rumor involving Stacey Gabriel, and I read just a lot of stuff, and I've read a lot of stuff um, about uh, what was said, what was going on, but it's all based on rumors. And I think sometimes when you when we engage in rumors, we always get in trouble. Maybe there's a little bit of truth to it. I simply don't know. I don't have enough information. What I will say is this. Both of them can come out of this unscathed. And I can tell, I'll tell you how. If, and I'm just going to refer to Teachers of Pageantry as Tita Lavinia, because that's, that's all I know about that particular um, person, is as long as Tita Lavinia stay on that track of protecting the women because I think the term that was that was used was character assassination. And so as 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 long as Tita Lavinia is seen as protecting the contestants, 
I don't know who came against who first, why, who, what, when. I don't really care. It doesn't concern me. But if Tita Lavinia stays on and stays in that particular vein as, you know, protecting the women and making sure that their characters aren't assassinated, that's actually a good thing. Um, and so if, if she stays in that vein, she's going to come out of this unscathed. I do have a question, you know, why would a platform as big as hers mess with, you know, Gazel? Um, because another accusation that was levied was that because of what he said, somehow that diminished um, uh, Stacey Gabriel, you know, uh, somehow, you know, she didn't move up as high as people thought that she should have or Tita Lavinia thought that she should have. And that is, that is an opinion. Apparently, Gaisel said that uh, maybe she was, you know, he felt that his interaction with her, that she, maybe she was a little bit snooty. That's his opinion. And and so, and if Tita Lavinia took offense to that, that's all right. If she believed that that's character assassination. I think the danger is when you try to say that somehow that, that diminished her and what she was and what she was able to do you know maybe she didn't rise in the rankings as far as you'd like i think we get into a little bit of danger if that is your opinion of course and you are certainly tita lavinia is entitled to to that opinion again i'm just going to stay out of it but as long as you stay in that vein that you're protecting the contestants and you want to make sure that their characters aren't being assassinated I think that's a that's a good thing. You can argue some other stuff, uh, but you know I'm I'm a foreigner and I'm just looking in real quick, kind of glancing in, looking in, and then you know, and and then I'm kind of out of it because because again, what I'm reading is everything is is based on rumors, and so you know based on what he said, did it get blown out of proportion? I I, I don't know, nor do I care. On the flip side, here's how Gazel can come out of it, um, you know, smelling like a rose, as they say. Um, what can happen is his followers are going to say, well, that was simply his opinion. That was simply his reaction. So that means that if people talk about him, he has the ability and he has the courage to, to, to stick up for what he believes. He can stand behind what he says. And so... In that way, he's going to come out looking good. And that will maybe, that will probably lend some credibility to him because when he meets people and he says, oh, well, they just seem a little snooty. I don't know. There's some nuance there that I think that I'm missing. And so some somebody might say, well, why are you making the video? Because somebody asked me to do the video. It's, it's engagement. <laughs> and and at the end of the day, this, this is going to pass. This too shall pass because this is funny. And, and so... My my whole focus is let's let's you know it's already bad enough. I mean we're we're talking about pageants. If if we stop if we stop having pageants today, is that gonna stop the world? No, it's not. So it's not rocket science what we do. It's women walking on a platform doing their thing, and they are somehow judged for it. At the end of the day, that's what it is. So I'm not going to sit up here and try to act like what I'm doing is, you know, helping the world and all that kind of stuff. Everybody is in it, you know, to make some money. Everybody is in it for the engagement. It, everybody has their motive, whatever their motive is. That's why we do this. And so whether it for me is fun, I work two jobs. And this is kind of like I do this on the side just for fun. Most of you know, I started, I'm a musician. I like to sing. Just so happened, I made a video. It got thousands of hits, and I made another video. It got thousands of hits, and so I did, did my research. And so, so you can come at me with what you want to. I don't really give a care because I've been doing this for a while, and I don't really give a damn. Okay, what I do give a care about is one making sure that that if we're all if we are going to be vloggers, that we have that huge respect for each other. We can disagree. We can, we can certainly disagree. We can all have our own opinions, but I do not have the time and to get on here and say, oh, Tita Lavinia was wrong. Gazel was wrong. Tita Lavinia was right. Gazel was right. 
all I'm saying is that's just just a little bit of my opinion. I can probably spend a little bit more time on it, but I think what happens is um, both channels, Tita Lavinia and Gazel, are going to win because I can tell you why. As soon as this controversy is stirred up, people are going to go to Gazel's channel and say, oh, well, he sucks or he's good. Guess what? He's got all of that engagement. Same thing is going to happen to Tita Lavinia. Is that, oh, well, she's this and she's that. And so people are going to have an opinion. Both of them are going to get views. Both of them are going to get the engagement. And, and, and so both of them are going to get paid. So who started it? It almost doesn't even matter. Because in the end, <laughs> all of them are going to get some sort of engagement out of this. Whether it's positive or whether it's negative. Both of them are going to get some engagement out of this. So to the people that DM'd me... That's that's kind of what I think about it. I think it um, is really just it, it's, it's kind of a sideshow because at this time there are lots of people talking about uh, Miss Universe Philippines. They I mean, I'm I'm online and people are just really talking about it. And even people that don't watch pageants here in America, there are uh, in the black community. It's almost as if what happens to one black person in a different area affects us all and so that idea is sort of permeating itself right now across social media especially in the pageant industry all i have to say is i i wish them both well i wish no ill toward um either one of them both of them have have their platforms and 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 so you know i want i want everybody to make their money i want everybody to have the engagement i want everybody to to be a force in their area should they choose to do so. So there you have it. And uh, so if you agree with me, you let me know. If you disagree, let me know. But as always, keep it classy with me because I don't allow all that. I don't, I don't, I don't allow all those negative comments um, in a disrespectful way. Negative comments are okay if you say, "Hey Isaac, I disagree with you because one, two, three, four, and five. And and you know, it's been fun doing that with some people, but but they have been very very classy. They have just said, "Hey Isaac, I disagree with you." And blah 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 blah. And and we go down. And so that's what I like. That I like that engagement. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching. Peace out.